Oh shit. Yo, 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 welcome back to a No Records Podcast. I see your host, DW, aka Darius. You back at it again with episode five of my No Records Podcast. And I'm with another guest. She's back. <laughs> well, I forgot what movie that's from, but you know, my girlfriend's back. Introduce yourself once more, even though everybody knows you already. Jay Sierra, you already know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been having you a lot on this show. And my other guys too, because you know, I don't have a lot of friends. <laughs> but I'm not going to do like those little podcasts where I, I rent, uh, interview random people like artists and shit like that. Because that's mad. That's whack. That's weird. I don't, I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> like, I'm not going to interview some upcoming artists and promote their music. Nah, they trying to make money for me. Fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm trying, everybody I know, we all go eat. You know, whoever steps foot on this No Regulars podcast, whoever's in these, I was going to say in between these mics, not in between these mics, whoever's talking into these mics, bro, you're part of the family, the No Regulars family, you know what I'm saying? But I just want to come over here to talk about, we're already five episodes in, just think about that. I know, that's crazy. And you're doing good, too. I know. On social medias. Yeah, social, oh, socials, people. Follow us on TikTok at No Regulars, we going up. Oh, yeah, 250 now? 250 followers? Yeah, 250. Oh, shit. <laughs> Follow us at Podcast on Instagram. We almost had 100 followers. Try to get to 100. And subscribe down below, you know. Where we at? 40? Yeah, 40 subscribers. Yeah, that's all right, you know. We getting there. Slow and steady. You getting there. We getting there together. If y'all don't know, Jay is, is the one that is like our my little advert. What's that called? Advertisement guru. She always... Assistant. Does, Advertisement assistant, social media assistant. There you go. There you social go. media marketer. There you go. She's she does all the Instagram and TikTok stuff. I just make all the videos and edit. So she has a she plays a big part in all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? You get you help this help me get my first viral video. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir, gangster. Nah, but we are here a month into school. How you feeling? I'm not even stressed for real. You know me. I know. <laughs> Yo, this girl, bruh. Has gone through college cheating her way through No, everything. see, you're maxing. I'm lying? You're maxing. This girl don't know a damn thing what she going on. You're maxing. This girl cheated on every. I said it. No. I'm it, exposing maybe, the truth. Maybe in Zoom University. Everything University. No. Now I mean, when we were at Coppin, I, I did some work. Now, online classes is different. Like, if I have an online class and they put in tests that are on the internet, then why go the hard way? That's a damn lie. <laughs> this girl. You been you cheated at all this year? I mean, we didn't have no exams yet, so Duh. you can't even. Duh. I had quizzes. Oh, sh- I don't even know you. Right, yeah. <laughs> but you know what? That's all right. Because, you know, whatever makes the grade. They don't, yo, this shit, the college is a fucking scam. It is. Y'all kids don't know. Y'all kids ready to go to college. Be like, oh, my gosh, I'm excited. to don't know, bro. This shit is a scam. You just got to go back in debt. Mm-hmm. Like, they don't even teach us, like, what we need to know for the real world. Exactly. Like, the shit I'm learning, like, I'm, I could learn that shit on YouTube. Exactly. Like, if I was a video mark, like, if I was, like, say Rutgers had a, for, uh, what's that called, video editing major, I, could, I learned all this shit in a month. Mm-hmm. Imagine I did that as a major. I'm in that for four years. Exactly. Like, Mm-mm. all these core classes, talking about some math, sciences. Yeah, exactly. I don't need to know half the stuff I'm learning. Oh, my God. Like, the science, actually, I learned a lot about science. What'd you learn? I know a difference between calcite and calcium. Oh, yeah, you know the rocks. Shout out Tyrone, bro. We know the rocks, bro. <laughs> Minerals. Three hours straight in, what's that? Plant, either planet Earth or environmental geology. One of them shits. I know. You can sh- give me a piece of rock. I'll tell you what it is right now. I'm going to test you for real. You but, lucky I didn't bring some rocks. I'm <laughs> with it all, bro. I'm with it all. But nah. So how's uh, softball going? Softball straight? Yeah, straight. I'm getting some PT. <laughs> yes, sir. Yo, tuned into her, bro. Felician University softball division two. You see in the left field. Don't stare too hard. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but chill. You know what I'm saying. Did you almost hit that home run the other day? I guess. See, that's how you know she's nice. She said, "I guess." Sure. <laughs> what you talking about? I guess. I'll be gassed mm-hmm. when I score a point. It ain't go out. I need to do some push-ups. If it was Felicia, if it was Felicia Field, that shit was going out. No, for real, Felicia Field is so small. So shit, I expect ten. Ten. Yes, <laughs> I'm expecting ten. No less. I give you one. Nah. Okay, five. That's still max. How? Cause I haven't hit in like how long? You haven't been hitting that bad. 
I know, but like I haven't actually stepped foot on a live pitcher in forever. And you're still doing pretty good. Yeah, but five is still a little max. Maybe ma- max three. I guess, I guess. But oh, I almost forgot something. If you guys don't know, today's the 26th. If y'all don't know, when this podcast posts, it's probably going to be a week from now. But tomorrow's actually my birthday. Hey. So, you know what I'm saying? 22, uh, he's up. Big 22s, you know what I'm saying? This is my Technically, this is my little birthday special. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why I had to have you on the show, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, this is my little birthday cake. Y'all can hear this? Here you go. <laughs> Me and Corey started ASMRs on podcasts. <coughs> I'm about to hold on. Hold up. Mm-hmm. You got your snack person. out too. ASMRs. Nah, that sounds crazy. <laughs> uh oh. But now, twenty two, it's crazy. You know, yesterday at the wedding. Oh, shout out my boy Ruben and Caleb, bro. Shout out to y'all. Congratulations on getting married. That was a fun wedding. I had a great time. But anyways, they had a bar, right? I gave him my ID, and it was like, oh no, I didn't get my ID. Yet. I was like, can I get these drinks? I was getting them from my mom, and it was like, um, can I see your ID? I was like, I'm twenty one. That's the first time. That was like, I only, I think I only said my age maybe like four times this year. I don't know why. I feel like people always ask. And I was like, I gave my car. I was like, oh, <laughs> I feel like a, an adult. Mm-mm. A 22, man. We definitely don't look our age. Hell no. We look mad young. I don't know why. I think it's just my my face. Oh, yeah. Um, I finally got a haircut, too. Oh, my gosh. Every video I had in this podcast, I was looking crazy. Like, oh, my God. That shit was horrible. <laughs> Shout out to my barber, bro. Shout out to Russ. Y'all need a cut, bro. Go hit a Russ Curly Cut or Cuts by Russ. That's why you said Curly Cuts. No, nah, that's what his old name was. I think uh-huh. it was. I think it was like Curly Cuts, some shit like that. But yeah, anyways, back to the back to the birthday thing, man. You know, twenty two, we going up blessings every year. You know what I'm saying? We are going to the club Friday. Stop playing. Yeah, I don't. I'm, I got social anxiety. <laughs> I don't fuck with the club. <laughs> I don't know what what we doing for my birthday. We is it a surprise? What am I getting for my birthday? What you got me? You'll see tonight. Uh, can I get a hint? Uh, no. Is it 2K? Um, no. <laughs> oh, I hope it's 2K. But nah, bro, 22. I hope for my goals for this year is to stay consistent. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Stay consistent with what I'm doing, whether it's this podcast, with school, basketball. Just never take a day off. Maybe one day off. But just stay consistent. No, I, you I know, need these off. So. I know I do, but it's like, like you trying. I feel like you're trying to live like you already have a nine to five job. Like you just need to relax, enjoy life right now when you're free and you don't have any really priorities and stuff to do before you have to go into that life. Yeah, I know, but like, it's 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 good to like live a little, but it's like. I mean, it's good to be prepared too. Yeah, I know. But like. It's a cer- to a certain extent. Because then you're not going to like, you're going to be like, dang, I wish I would have lived my life before I actually had to do 9 to 5 or whatever you do when you're older. Yeah, I know, but it's it's, it's not like a, I, I hate doing this. Like I, like, I actually like editing. I don't know why. Well, you be trying to pull your hair out every 25 I only, seconds. The only reason why I try to pull my hair out is because this MacBook be holding me. I feel you. Like the editing, like it gets tiring after a while, but like if I like... If I have a good, like, I'll be trying to, um, uh, what's that called? Get the videos out at a certain date. So I'll be trying to rush and mm-hmm. shit like that. So if I have, like, time, then I'm, like, just chilling. I edit for, like, an hour or two, and I'm good. I'll be trying to edit, like, three, four hours at a time. But other than that, like, I'm fine. Like, I'm fine with doing a lot of work. I think I get this from my mom. Like, my mom loves doing work. Like, she wakes up early in the morning. So this is, this is how I'm going to be the rest of my life. Can you live with this? Yeah. <laughs> wow I said yeah Nah you should get ahead <laughs> Nah y'all She did me dirty But nah so 22 man I just wanna thank you all bro Whoever's listening to my podcast Whoever watching my podcast Like thank y'all for supporting me And the people I have on this show And what we do Because you know You don't have to watch us You don't have to listen to us But I'm just glad that We are a little 
portion of your life. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people tune into this stuff weekly. My friends, even on TikTok. There's people I, I don't even know on there. 250? That's crazy. Mm-hmm. I never thought it would be this quick. I got hyped as hell when I seen that shit go up. I was like, oh. <laughs> nah, but shout out to y'all, bro. Because without y'all, man, I wouldn't be doing this right now. Actually, no, nah, I'd still be doing it even if y'all wasn't here. Sorry. <laughs> chill, 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 chill. Shout out to y'all, though. Because y'all the realest, but y'all my gangsters, bro. You know what I'm saying? Big gangsters. Y'all Slap. Love. <laughs> nah, nah. But yeah, big 22 on the way. In about T minus two hours, big twenty two. Oh shoot! I have to get the gifts from the car. Ah yes, I hope it's I hope it's two K. I've been waiting. It's not two K. <laughs> you know I'm saying, say happy birthday in the comments if you want to. Chill. Say Go. it. Say it, or I'ma slap your mom. Shit. <laughs> she dead ass too. Don't play with it. But nah, here's a topic I want to talk about that's been going around lately. What's that TikToker influencer name again? Gabby Petito. Gabby Pot- Potato? <laughs> Gabby Petito. I forgot the guy's name. I think it's like Brian something. Brian? We'll call him Brian. Oh, okay. We'll call him, we'll call him Brian. So, so, if y'all don't know already, Gabby Petito was like a big influencer with um, like travel and stuff like that. What, she had a YouTube, like a big, she was like one of those big YouTube travelers and stuff like that. She was a big influencer on TikTok. And recently... It's she's been murdered. Supposedly they say it's by her boyfriend, because they went on a trip, and she was reported missing. And then he came back, right? Without her. Without her, and then they found her body, some shit like that. And then he left. And he he was out. He dipped, bro. Like <laughs> no trace, no nothing. Left his phone, left his wallet. Like so, what do you, what is your, what do you think is happening right now? I honestly don't know what to believe because there's always. Three sides to the story. You already know. His side, her side, and the truth. Facts. And, like, I feel like people were quick to say, like, he it was, like, a domestic thing. Like, he killed her or something like yeah, that? Yeah, like, he he did it. He was hitting her, blah, blah, blah. But, like, you don't really know that. Like, you've never seen a video of him physically abusing her. Exactly. Y'all just assuming. Yeah. That's- and it's like, we never know. Exactly. Like, so- it's just weird to me how, why would he come back? Yeah. Without her, if he knew he killed her. I mean, people are a psycho. Don't get me wrong. And nobody deserves to get killed. But it's just, nobody really knows the real story. That's true. Like, if you kill somebody, I feel like the first reaction if you kill somebody is that you won't go back. Exactly. You're just going to try to run away, disappear. Like, who knows? Like, they probably would have been looking for her and him, but not knowing where they were if he never came back. Like, they wouldn't have suspicions, really. Like, honestly, if he would have really killed her for real, like, that should just... I just thought of something. What? Like, say like say he killed her for real and, like, just took her body and they and he left with her and nobody seen her again. They both would have went as missing. Exactly. So they both would have went as missing and nobody would have thought he killed her. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, like, he could have killed her, too, because, like, people get... He probably didn't mean to. Let's say it was a by accident type of kill. And he was like really nervous. He didn't know what to do. And he came back and then realized he was going to go to jail and then just dipped. And just like, what if he killed, what if he killed himself? Because he's like, nah, I ain't doing that shit no more. So I would have. I would have been like, I ain't going to jail. Like, that's crazy. Like, I heard like he was <clears throat> abusive to her. Like, there was like, I think everybody's seen the police cam footages of her mm-hmm. in the car saying, like, he abused her. But there was another side of the story that said she was abusing him and she has, like, OCD. And, like, she they always start, like she always starting problems with him. And, like, she always is um, yelling at him and, like, maybe hitting him a lot. And there was a video, like, show, like, he had like, a little mark on his face. Like, maybe mm-hmm. he scratched in the face. But he, I mean, she admitted that she hit him in the video. Mm. But, like, I don't know. They both seem, like, crazy. They both have mental issues for real. I don't know, like, nah, honestly, if he did kill her and he came back, that's actually some killer type of shit, that like, is. from a movie. My mom said that she he thinks that he came back, I mean, she thinks that he came back for, like, money. Like, publicity or some shit? No, 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 like, to, to get, get money and, like, to just leave. go out of the country or something. I mean, see, alright, this is a big, this is definitely probably what happened, but this is, like, another turn of events, like, what if this should happen? What if, like... He got framed, and somebody killed her, and like, like what if she was doing something, he left, 
came back, seen her dead. I was like, oh shit, I don't know what the fuck yeah, to like do. Yeah, like he didn't know what to do. Because like, and like, he's by himself. They're by themselves. Mm-hmm. So like, he goes back. He talks to the people like, oh, I don't know if she's out, she's missing. C- trying to cover it up. Because if he tells them that she's killed, they're going to think he did it. Because mm-hmm. like, there's nobody around. There's no witnesses but him. And then when they found out, he just dipped. Afterward. I mean, I think they had a missing person report for her the week before he came back or something like that. Because I think her parents were trying to contact her. And she wasn't answering. Mm. I also <coughs> seen another like conspiracy. They were saying like the part of the country there was in. There's a there's a small part of our country. I forgot what it's called. It's called the area of death or valley of death, some shit like that. It's a little like a little rectangle, like a big rectangle where they say murder is legal. I don't think that's fucking true. Yeah, I don't. I don't not believe that. And they said she brought him because like the where the area is is where their bodies. Or her body was found in that little national park area. Like that little, it's like right next to it. And they said, oh, let me kill it here. It's not going to be legal. But that's that's stupid. I doubt that's that a thing. Is, I just seen like, it on TikTok though. If it was legal, why would he run? Like he wouldn't be going to jail. I mean, he came back and he was like, this shit's not going to work. Let me, let me leave. <laughs> I don't know. I don't believe that. Do you think they're ever going to find him? I think so. I don't think, I don't know. Supposedly they're close to finding him. That's what, what on TikTok. Close? I don't know what they said. They were like, he's going to be found in like a couple days or something. I don't know if I believe it, but we'll see. They know he's going to be found in a exactly. couple days. Exactly. I don't know. What the fuck? <laughs> what are you talking about? I seen, I seen another thing about, like, um, there was like a picture of a girl and her boyfriend took the picture. And I guess like they broke up, but they wanted to go on a one last hiking trip. And like they're, they're walking through the mountains. So he took a picture of her and after the picture, he threw her off the cliff. What the hell? And killed that bitch. Oh, hell He's like, nah, you ain't breaking up with me. You ain't, nah. He said that what, shit. What story was this? It was, like, you ever seen those things on TikTok be like, uh, uh, backstories on weird, on normal photos? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, so it was one of those things. I was oh. like, what the f***? So I, that bitch died. Like, he just killed that bitch up right then and there. It's Ooh. crazy, but like, that sounds a little nuts. I'm not gonna lie. Nah, that's Max. You ain't breaking up with me. Shit. I don't know. Not, not everybody has perfect relationships like us, you know what I'm saying? Nah, that's Max, though. Like, that's some creepy shit. That's some... Like, all this... Mm. Like, this... That brings domestic violence to an all-time high. Like... <laughs> past. Past that shit. But anyway... Oh, speaking of that, I have a question. So, say if a girl hit a boy, is the boy obligated to hit the girl back? If it's, like, one little smack... No. I think he should just like walk away, try to just be the bigger person. But if he's beating, I mean, if she's beating on him, he has the right to give her one little yeah I knockout. Think, I think he just he can hit it on the chin real quick. <laughs> Not even gonna lie, like a little poop. like if she's maxing, like really trying to fuck him up. Like, yeah, like who's gonna stand there and get beat up? Exactly. Like if he's trying to push it back, he's she's just rock. Cause like with me, like say a girl hit me right, like she hit me once, like all right, all right. I'm going like, to grab her and be like, relax. She start hitting me. Like, I'm going to get mad. Exactly. I'm going to end up smacking the f*** out of her. <laughs> That's like if we have a son and I tell my son to just get beat up by a girl. Nah, if you going to no. f*** that bitch. I'll, we'll handle the people later. I'm going to handle the mom and the little girl. Oh, shit. <laughs> but, like, that's only if it's, like, one little smack. I'm going to be like, just tell me and I'm going to handle it. But if she start beating on him, he better, oh, my God, like, knock I, her out. Like, I be seeing these little videos and shit of girls fighting. Is, and like the thing is just eating them shit. I'm like, not nah, yo, I'm earthing that bitch. Like, I'm, oh, you I'm, got me. Yeah, I got you. Mm. You you earthing that bitch for me. You know what I'm saying? Take that <laughs> <No>. time. <laughs> they talking about? Like, I remember there was a um, I, when my, so my dad works, used to work in Newark for um YCS. It was a program for kids that got kicked out of school. So I'm talking about gang members, kids that were bullied, bullies, drug dealers, all that to be in there. They used to be some cool kids. I ain't gonna lie. I used to love. Them. I used to be in there when I was like six. I used to go in the back, play on the computer, be like, and he's like, "Mr. D, is that your son? Oh my gosh, why he light skinned?" I'm like, "Damn, why everybody keep thinking that?" But anyway, so these are some bad kids, right? So I'm sitting on the computer one day, and this girl was arguing with this boy, and like she was like she was calling him names and shit, and he was getting mad. He turned around, and said, "See, that's Max. That is Max." That's Max. I looked. I was like, "What the?" He like I heard the click. And she was like, you think that was supposed to hurt me? I was like, nah, this girl, wow. Nah, she ate, she was on some drugs. Nah, the girl was like 14 and she ate that shit. Mm-mm. 
Like, what? Like, nah, bro. But, yeah, for our son, bro, like, if a girl, you shouldn't hit a woman. No. To a certain extent. If a girl is hitting you like a man, like, like she thinks she a man, she could hit you. Nah, you could go go crazy, bro. Maybe not beat her the f- up, but like, give her a warning shot. Be like, yo, you hit me again, relax. <laughs> give her a little warning punch. Yeah. Maybe hit her in the in the chest. Give her some something air for long- her out. Not even air her out. Something long term. Oh, you're wildin'. <laughs> you're wildin'. <laughs> no, but that shit crazy, bro. Like these girls really be think they trying to smack. Like they, I remember there was a video. Mm-hmm. Um, there was some video going around when I was a kid. It was like on Vine, and it was like this girl like. They would be beating up on the boys. Like, they would be recording them just beating up on boys. Mm-hmm. I used to feel bad for the kids. Oh, my God. There was a time when I was at camp working at Rutgers. And it was me, Corey, and Quincy working, right? And we was, like, eating our food. And, and then the one of the older ladies like that works the camp, she's like, what are y'all doing? We're like, we just eating. And she's like, y'all don't see what's going on? We're like, what the, what the happened? She's like... What's his name? Just got stomped out by a bunch of girls. I was like, who? See, girls be thinking they could get away with it because they think guys can't hit them back. But nah, my I, son. If that was my kid, how? yo, it was four girls stomping out an eight-year-old boy. Yeah, see, no. First of all, we have terrible awareness because I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Nah, yeah, I really do. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, where? Like, what do you mean? Like, that shit was, cr- no, that shit was fucking crazy. How but. old were they? Like, the girls? They about 11. And they were stomping up. Oh, an eight-year-old? He was like, he was like eight or nine. See, I would have stopped, stomped out the eleven-year-old if that was my son. And I looked at the boy; he looked perfectly fine. I'm like, you lying? <laughs> Ain't no way this nigga just got fucked up by these girls. Mm-hmm. But them girls is bad, bro. Like bad, bad. Yeah, like, I if that was my son. I promise you, I'm touching them girls. Touching them girls. All right, not like that. <laughs> See, <laughs> I'm hitting them. Content. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get everybody mm-hmm. slipping. Oh my gosh, nah, bro. But respectfully, fellas, if you get hit by a girl one time, say if it's a smack, that's fine. Just just walk away or just maybe a little light shove, like, the fuck away from you. Not, not to where you're going to, like, she falls and she breaks her neck and then she dies. That's what happens in hella movies. She she gets pushed? Yeah, that happened in him. He got game. That's how he killed his, his wife. And what that's how he went hell? to jail. Like, she smacked him and she was like, get away from me. And she fell and hit her oh, head on yeah, the thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Just just be like, get, just walk away from it. But if she starts going like, boom, 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 you get one warning shot. No, for real. Either air her out or just right to the chin, not to the nose. Because then the aftermath, when you see black eyes, like, that's just bad. It's going to look bad on your part, your part. It is, but I don't care. Like, is there really, are there cases where women abuse men? Mm-hmm. So do they go to prison? Probably. They better. Oh, God, they better. <laughs> What's wrong with these girls, bro? Mm-hmm. They, if go to prison for abusing girls. women better go to prison for abusing and that sure. put, I'm not going to lie <laughs> why I don't know <laughs> if you could get if you get if you get abused by your girl that bad and you don't leave you're really like you're low key no that is though like, like to, girl, girls are definitely not stronger than the guys so like if you can't leave like, that's I don't know if you got marks on your face like two black eyes be like oh my god like like, like what happened to your face like oh my girl just was beating on me I'm like you <laughs> like they they don't even have to hit them at that point, just leave. Yeah. But I mean, there's psycho girls like that will follow them like everywhere. I know girls are kind of crazy. Mhm. There's some not good. this one, but you got your little crazy moments. You good crazy. I, I don't like hit it. you though. I know you don't. <laughs> I like your craziness though. It's fun. It's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> like oh my gosh! But you know the tradition of the show. We gotta talk about the conspiracies, people. The world that we know it is not true. <laughs> Everything we learn in history in the world is a motherfucking lie. And I need to tell y'all this right now. You know what theory I know? What happened? The pyramids. It's called the... You know how... It's the pyramid theory, mm-hmm. basically. So, what they're saying about the pyramids is that we cannot construct the pyramids to this day. Even though they were made 2,000 years ago, we could not build a single pyramid but I don't get how, like, why not? Don't we have, like, freaking cranes? Like, cranes can't lift up a, a block? That's what I'm saying. Like, the blocks that they made was made out of, like, I think it's like calcium and, like, different minerals, and you can't make that no more. Like, think about it. Back then, if, how the f- can make it back then, but, like, we're so-called advanced now? I don't know. That makes no sense. I don't believe it. I don't believe that shit either. Like, what they say the pyramids are... Is because like what they're saying about pyramids, right? Mm-hmm. Is that for one, 
We weren't able, we can't make them now. So it's like, how could we? How are we supposed to be the most advanced that we've ever been? But we can't make pyramids right now as we speak. How and did they make it back then without any freaking cranes? cranes. Like they talk about them, people lifted that. Sh- are Ain't you no serious? Way. Y'all really believe in the textbooks? Mm-mm. But anyways, back on the subject of pyramids, right? So we can't build them now, even though it's been maybe since what maybe a hundred thousand years that might be a stretch i don't know how many years it's been i don't know maybe ten thousand years there's pyramids everywhere there's not they're not just in egypt there's pyramids in mexico there's pyramids in south america there's pyramids in i heard there was pyramids in freaking america somewhere like small ones what the hell so it's like how do these people how are they making pyramids exactly the same and they never seen each other like there's no transportation like, there's no planes back then to, like, be like, oh, let's go fly over there and make a pyramid. There's pyramids in Japan. There's pyramids on the bottom of the ocean. So, what they're saying is, these pyramids are were beacons and, like, or power power plants. Like, w- what we know about pyramids is that they're um, tombs for, like, the pharaohs and shit. I'm mm-hmm. just, you tell me you build a 2,000, like, feet, foot tall tomb for one <laughs> Get the f*** out of here. Got me f- up. Like who? Who else made them shits? Maybe the Earth grew weirdly. It's I don't sick. know. Like what if? Maybe they weren't. But what if they were made by aliens? What if the alien? What if? This is a crazy what if. I don't think this is true. It's true at all. What if the aliens killed the dinosaurs? But then how are they gonna go? Like where are the aliens now? I don't know. They're probably up in the sky. How they get back there? Back where? To the sky, if they they were in Earth, like they came down and see dinosaurs just extinct them. Oh, in a UFO. Yeah, because all right, say like you know what they was talking about, like the big meteor hit Earth and killed the dinosaurs. Mm-hmm. Where'd the meteor hit? I don't know. They never told us where the f- hit. It just said it hit Earth. Like where the fuck? If a meteor that big killed a whole species of life, shouldn't there be a mark? I mean, it was a million years ago, but shouldn't there be like, shouldn't we have like a specific location of where that meteor hit? Maybe that's where like the Marion trenches because it's so deep. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I just want to know. That's weird. I so, wish I could know the the secrets of life. I do too. There's there's a I think there's like a bunker or like a like a secret library in like France or some shit like that that holds all the secrets to the universe. There's definitely, a but you, only a specific amount of people could go in there. Mm-hmm. I need that. You think the president could go? Hell no, don't. <laughs> These stupid motherfuckers. You think Joe Biden? <coughs> he not he not even the president for real, bro. What the fuck he do? I don't know what none of them do. To I be swear, honest. Barack Obama's our best, the best president we ever had. He's still my president to this day. I'm my own president. Shout out you, President. I'm your Jay. president too. <laughs> I don't got no objections to that. But anyways, back onto onto the pyramids though. I just think the pyramids is like I talked about this with Linda. Like pyramids were like power plants made by like extraterrestrial beings. Ooh, that's a big word. Yeah, you lost me. I don't know. <laughs> like you just think they just build like big ass towers just cause. I think like I don't know why else they would build a pyramid. I don't know. That's just weird though. Mm-hmm. I just want to go back in time. Me too. Just to know the secrets. Like, just imagine. Like, imagine back then it was, like, the Jetsons. Like, we were, like, the the past is actually, like, the future. Look, looks like the future. That'd be tough. Like, what if, like, we just regress? Like, they say, like, it was, um, a, like, nuclear war. We just killed ourselves off. Probably. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. That's what Leonard told me. <laughs> Leonard, like, I have to have Leonard on the show one day. He about to be big as hell in this seat. He not gonna fit. I know. <laughs> Shout out to you, Leonard, but he's, he told me to call him. Like, we'll be on, like, a Zoom call. <laughs> I'm dead. How's he going to even show his face? I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work. Has a computer right here, and the camera just zoomed into nah, it. No, you could do, like, Zoom, uh, what's it called? Zoom podcast. podcast. Yeah, a lot of people do that shit. It's like you have your your camera, and then you just take, like, you just record their camera footage, and then you oh, just put it next oh, to each oh, other. Oh, and you could switch. Uh, you don't, I mean, you, you could switch, or you could just have it there. Like? Like, just next to each other, like, side by side. I guess, yeah. That might be kind of whack, though. That's not our thing. Nah. Yeah. I'm not just saying. 
But <clears throat> now, sorry, I had to burp. Oh my god, I have another <coughs> what if thing. Cause I like doing what ifs, bro. What if I have? A, I looked it up before, right? Because I follow like a lot of conspiracy pages. Like, what if, like the phobias and things we're scared of, is how we died in our past life, and that's why we're scared of them. That's good. I feel like, so I'm afraid of planes, so I died at a plane crash. Maybe. Wait, were you always afraid of planes? No. When did you start becoming afraid of planes? When I knew what I was getting into. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Like, when I was able to really, like, think about it, like, planes really just be in the air, and they could fall at any time. But supposedly planes are, like, safer than cars, but I still don't trust it. I like being on the ground. I would hope it's safer than cars. Like, fuck, that's a higher risk. No, for real, but... Mm. Wait, Probably, because I used to take planes all the time, like, for cheer and stuff, and I don't think I was ever scared. I think... I you low-key got me scared of planes, because you had me thinking like that, <laughs> and I got to stop listening to your ass. Mm-mm. See, I, I don't know if that would count, because you were, um... Uh, what's it called? Because uh, you used to go on planes and shit like that. I'm yeah. thinking of, like, say... What's a phobia? Like, fucking... I mean, some people have phobia of animals, though. Yeah, like Like, arachnid. spiders... I mean, you could die from a spider. Imagine you get killed by a spider. No, that's like, max. That's a little weird, though. Like I'm, a, like I'm afraid of the dark. Not gonna lie. I'm, so I'm how little, you die? The dark? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe something in the dark. Maybe I was haunted. Probably, cause you've been afraid of the dark too. I know. When and I was you a kid. stand by it. Yes. <laughs> I'm afraid of the dark, people. I'm not afraid to say it. He will not sleep with his lamp or TV off. Maybe. <laughs> no, you slept. You slept with your lamp off one time, but you you saw the TV on. Like, I don't know. I just, it's not, being scared of the dark is not being afraid of the actual dark. It's being afraid of what's in the dark. So what do you think it's in the dark? Like just some scary creatures? Mm-hmm. What do you think? You're afraid of the dark? All right. <laughs> Hold on. Here you go. They're going to be fed up with me. They are. God on God, for real, for real. <laughs> Hold on. That was good. Alright. My thing on the dark is... I'm afraid of... Because I... <coughs> I used to watch a lot of movies. And... I remember I used to, not like, some of them were scary, but like, I used to just be afraid of like, like say if I watch a scary movie, like The Conjuring, mm-hmm. I'd be thinking I see that shit everywhere. And you're wild. You used to sleep with your door open. Mm-hmm. Like I used to think I'd be seeing shit through the door. Mm-mm. Like sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes I walk in throughout my house, I'd be, I'm <coughs> <coughs> cough break. You good? Like I got a Rice Krispie ch- stuck in my throat. Sometimes I'm thinking I see some shit, like... I look, I look back, and it's like a, like a little, um, like a lamp or some shit. I'm like, okay, like I just feel like I be seeing shit in the dark, and that shit scares me. Like I don't know if it's gonna come at me, but I just feel like it's just, like it's some scary shit or something like that. Supposedly mirrors, um, are like a, what's that called? Like a portal, for um, spirits and stuff. You think so? I mean, I heard about that before. Like every like spirits live in mirrors. Well, like they can travel through mirrors. I mean, isn't that the thing with, like, Bloody Mary and shit? Oh, I don't know. I used to be afraid of that shit, bro. I used to really want to do it, but I was like, nah. You're what- crazy. <laughs> You're actually nuts. You were one of those kids? I really was. I, yeah, I, I never to, did it, though. I used, to, I used to hate those kids. I remember I was in summer camp. So, I, oh, wait, hold on. Let me explain this. I don't know if y'all know the story of Bloody Mary, but it's a. it was a story. The, the story has changed a lot. So what I've learned when I was a kid that still stuck with me is that Bloody Mary was a lady who um who was on our prom night, they were driving, her and her date were driving, I guess they were drunk driving, they ran into a tree and then her boyfriend like was driving or her date was driving, he just left her there and like she like died right then and there and he, he didn't do nothing to help her. And now like if you say her name like three times in the mirror, she comes out and like kills you. You said it like two times already. Chill, you're wildin', you're wildin', you're wildin', you're wildin', you're wildin'. I you're wildin', you're wildin'. Don't say it again. I'm it's on God I'm not. Whatever her name is. So they so 
there was a kid in um in my summer camp when I was a kid in Newark. I said when I was a kid. When I was in, when I was in uh when I used to go to summer camp in Newark, and we was talking about it one day. He was scaring the f- out of me. Like he was t- like that's how that's where I got the story from. And he went to the bathroom and he said in the bathroom I'm like nah, this kid's bugging the fuck out. I left. I didn't even go back to the little. It was called social circles. I did not walk back to a circle. I never talked to him again. I think some of my friends did at a sleepover. Like it was like a cheer thing. We were all at this girl's house. Yeah, that was crazy. And they they were in the back. I didn't. I fight y'all for real if you do that <laughs> shit in front of me. Oh God, do that shit in front of me. I'm like I'm dead the, deck of y'all. The candy man in front of you. You're wilding. <laughs> You're wilding. You're wilding. You're wilding. Candy man. Stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. Stop. That's not funny. <laughs> that is not funny. Like all jokes aside, I'm dead serious. <laughs> Play with oh they play God. with their life, like I it's a playing five field. Times yet. I don't give a those candy man. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done for real. Oh my gosh, but like I'm like I don't like them little little folk folklore shits. That so you think they're true? That it actually happened or mm-hmm. it happens? No, like if you say it three times or five times, how many? I I think some are true, like some little things like that are true. Maybe that's true because like who the comes up with a story like that? That's weird as hell. Um, and very creative. That is. But I never hear nobody like have a real story about that. Maybe like, they died. Mm. Chill. <laughs> I just scared the <laughs> out of myself. <laughs> this is not funny. This is not fun. We can't say the names no more. We we maxing. I know. I want to change the subject right now. Just go change okay, it. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> what are we talking about? Tele- oh, so after the phobias, we said now... We're going to my one of my favorite subjects of the matter. You know what I'm saying? It's called pick a side. So, would you rather go back in time, have the ability to go back in time, or have the ability to teleport to anywhere you want? Teleport. Okay. That was a very quick answer. <laughs> <clears throat> and I respect the answer because I know how you are. I know you just want to get to one place Instantly. Mm-hmm. If I want to go somewhere, if I snap my finger and I get to teleport there, I'm teleported. I would want to teleport too, but low key, I'm going back in time. Yeah, I think you would go back in time because you want to know everything. You know how much power I would have? How would you have power? I can kill baby Hitler. Oh my god! I can go to. I can go back in time and kill Hitler. So you could go back in time and actually live it. Or, like, you could just see it. I mean, what else am I going to do? Just watch that shit? Yeah, like, just... Nah, fuck that. I'm going in. <laughs> I'm going in, bro. Like, Mm-mm. I'm finding that little nigga. Then you just going to change the world's path. I might be... Yeah, I might be fucking up the world. Yeah, you are. Probably making it better. Who Actually, yeah, low-key, I might make it worse. What if I kill baby Hitler, and then whoever the parent was becomes Hitler? They see me, and they start killing light-skinned niggas. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's deed for y'all. I know. I probably come back. I probably wouldn't even be born. Like that's crazy. Like they say, if you go like, first of all, they say there's there actually are time traveling people. Oh yeah, I heard about that too. Like there was a there was a picture of a lady in a Mike Tyson fight in like 1992 or something like that with an actual like a like a like a recording camera phone, like in the back. You could just see her going like this. Like they're like, wait, what the? F- how the f- is that possible? <laughs> they probably edited that. They could have. <laughs> or there was another guy that had like he was like in um. It, that one looked edited. He was like in a crowd in like the the sixties, and he had like a he had shades, a hoodie, and a and a phone. Mm-mm. And I don't then, believe that. And then there was another one where a guy was about to get hit by a car, and he was walking on the side, and a guy like he like he grabbed him and moved him over, and like the nigga turned around like, like what the fuck, and he stopped, and the car came like Shoo. so what he basically like hell? saved his life. So they're saying like that guy was a time traveler, came back in time and saved his life. Mm, I I just don't believe in time travel. I feel like if there's time to time travel, like why hasn't somebody spoken up and said something? I mean, why would you want to speak of that? I don't know. I feel like if I'm a time traveler, I wouldn't say nothing. I would. Cause the government's gonna take me and to abuse that power. So you don't think the government knows that there's time travel? I think they do. I feel like all right, the creator of The Simpsons. Everybody thinks he's a time traveler because he predicts everything. That's true though. That's very scary. Mm-hmm. What if, I don't know what to, I don't know how to explain it. Like, what if he's a time traveler, but, like, he's saying these things just to, like, misdirect us? 
That could be it too. Like misdirect. Like what if it like it's not him? Like what if it's like the government making the Simpsons and they do that shit just to misdirect us from all the other shit that's happening? Mm-hmm. Like say Corona happens. Like it's it's just like a it's like a oh like make them think of something else. Like I feel like the government puts out things in the in the system to to trick us or to draw our attention. Yeah, that's true. Cause I mean that's what I would do. Like say like you're trying to trying to control people and they start like uprising, uprising, uprising. Boop. Let me throw a little shit in there. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? Try to distract them. Distract them like a little little like distraction. Mm-hmm. And then they they got time. They got time now. Yeah. Like, like the Simpsons. Like he might be a time traveler because he that nigga predicted so many shits. He might be a time traveler trying to warn us. Maybe we just ain't catching on quick enough. I know we're not just not, we're just be like oh my gosh, we're like, mm-hmm. oh my gosh. We just wait it? wait till it happened and then we realize the Simpson predicted it. Yeah, like and we're coronavirus. Like, what the hell? like that's scary though. They predicted coronavirus, predicted nine eleven. They predicted Donald Trump becoming president. Didn't they predict Donald Trump dying? He ain't do it. He ain't die yet. He didn't die because we were expecting it to die. That's true though. That's true. If we didn't expect him to die, wait, what's he been doing? Anybody seen Donald Trump? Nobody keeps up with him. I think he just he probably still been protesting that the the polls of the votes were were, were rigged or something. That nigga fighting a case to stay out of prison. Mm-mm. You know he killed them people on purpose, or killed what people? He killed the freaking some nigga in Afghanistan, like the like a general, like he bombed. Oh that nigga. Yeah, 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 I remember that. Idiot. Wasn't that when he was president though? Yeah, I thought he was. But we I thought he was about to go to World War Three. We we was about to for real. I ain't doing that. You said you're gonna get drafted. <laughs> no, I already know what's going on. I'm going to the Philippines. Mm-mm. We're hopping around the play. I'm out. You can't force me to go to war. You wouldn't go to war for your country. No. <laughs> Hell no. Sorry you. about. Sorry about. I'm not saying like yeah, the army's bad. Shout out to Jason and Bash, but y'all holding it down in the Marines. But I'm just saying, I, me personally, I'm not doing that shit. What if they paid you? No. <laughs> How much are they paying me? 500k a year what am i doing you you Front in lines? the fields yeah I'm, you know i'm gonna die <laughs> like if if it's a world war mm-hmm. it's over for me you ever watch the movies in the movies? you ever watch um saving private ryan you ever watch that movie yeah remember in the beginning when the is scared like they're on the boat and they're just scared they're like oh he's praying and shit and then the, the door opens like did he's died already i'm gonna be one of those that didn't even get a chance to shoot you better start shooting first. Or I'm going to be the one to jump on the side and f*** around. I'm going to be shooting wherever I think somebody is. Be like, right there, poop. Nobody's there. Like, I don't even know how to deal with that shit. That's crazy. Yeah, that's... I commend them. Like, I like I watching a never. lot of war movies, but, like, that shit is nuts, bro. Like, mm. the is in the um, Lone Survivor. You ever watch that movie? Mm. We have to watch that movie. Yo, we watch so much movies, but we got to watch that one. It was a, it's a movie about me and Corey were talking about that shit. I think it was it me and Corey. No, no, I was talking about that shit with Russ. And it's a movie where it's four Marines in Afghanistan, so they're going on a like a scout mission on the on the Taliban. So they can't bring everybody, or they're gonna get seen. So it's only four of them, and a a boy and his father, they're sheep farmers. They find them in the woods, and they were like they had to tie them up, and they was like, "What we when we go do it? Like we can't leave them up here. They're gonna die," and they had to make a decision: either kill them. Tie, leave him tied up or let him free. And the boy had a look on his face like, yo, I'm going to kill y'all. But they was just like, they was just like brushing it off. So it was like, all right, you know, let's do a good thing. Let's just let him go. That little n- sprinted all the way to the, to the Taliban. And they them niggas were surrounded like 5,000 to four, bro. What the hell? Like they was in the mountains. So they tried to get back and they had no signal. They just getting shot at like continuously. Boop, boop, boop. And they, they're, they're going, they're up a hill. And they, they get to a cliff, and they're like, yo, what are we doing? They're like, full send that shit down the cliff. No. Like, fall, like, boom. Like, niggas breaking their legs, their backs. Like, they falling on rocks. Like, that shit's mad graphic. Nah, I would rather get shot. They're wild. Like, like the Marines, bro. Like, shout out to y'all, bro. Y'all is crazy. Navy SEALs, bro. Like, they falling down. They get up. They're hobbling and shit. Trying to find, like, shelter. And they're still, they're still getting shot at, by the way. Like, there's... They're like in a, there's like, you can see like on the, the cliff side, the Taliban, there's like mm-hmm. 2,000, two, two, 3,000 niggas. 
and they're just fighting a four on 2,000, bro. They're picking them off one by one, losing bullets. They get to another cliff. Full send again. By the time they get all the way down, they're going to be dead. They survived that shit. Nah. I swear to God. Is it a true story? Yes. There's Ain't there's a nigga, he, he got um interviewed on Joe Rogan's podcast about it. And he it. was normal? Yes. Normal. Like, he didn't have no mental issues. I mean, I didn't watch the podcast, but I just seen, like, a little clip of it. But he survived that shit. There was only mm-hmm. only one guy survived. Only one? Mm-hmm. Everybody, his three friends died. From, like, full sending it? No, from getting shot. They, they all survived the fall. They Uh-oh. just, they all got, some of them got split up. And like Uh-oh. one of I remember I only remember one how one died. One died like in the movie he died like he was sitting on a tree. Like he was sitting down and he was just shooting like this and like he was just defeated. That like, would have been me. Like his half of his face was like broken off, leg broken, arm broken. He's just shooting with one hand and he just gets shot boom right in the eye Aww. on the tree. And then the one guy, he had to get to the mountaintop to get service so the helicopters could come in to find him. And like I think I don't know if he died there or if that's the one guy that survived, but that shit's crazy. Mm-mm. But I'm not 500k to be the front lines. Hell no. <laughs> one mil. How get- long? How long am I gonna be there for? The the duration of the war? Yeah. No. Mm-mm. <laughs> no. Them niggas get excited to go. They be like, I remember I seen another, uh, I be watching a lot of war movies. I remember I seen another war movie or some shit. They just got back from like their little, little thing. I think it was, it might have been um Battlefield Los Angeles. I don't remember. Like they just got back. They just got rescued and they go back to the base. They're like, we're going back out there. I'm like, I think you oh, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You I, think just it, I think we watched that together or yeah. like you put it on. I think it was Battlefield Los Angeles. I don't remember I'm like, the name. my nigga, you just survived. What the fuck? <laughs> like, hell no. Like war sorry but i'm sorry united states that ain't my job that ain't my job if you if i get drafted i might be going to prison or i'm going to canada how long like if you were rejected what happens they probably just call you a pussy but like isn't drafting like mandatory yeah i mean they probably just bring you to prison or they they dickheads they'd be like all right we're good we're gonna draft your little sister <laughs> what if they do that? Oh, f- <laughs> Libby, it might be deed for you. <laughs> chill, chill. If it's if it's like they go draft you, I might have to go. Because that's what, that's what they did in that, that one movie we watched. If y'all not catching on, me and Jay watch so many movies, it's not even funny. Mm-hmm. What's that movie? But if I get drafted and they and I deny and they say, I'm there going to draft my brother, he better go for me. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, you can, you can get him. You going to let Benji go? Mm-hmm. Oh my He's god. He's older. He lived most of his life already. He only 25. <laughs> what about if it's your dad? I would I would offer to take it. But if he don't if he's not like, "Nah, I got it." Then I'm letting him go. See. I think I think if you enroll earlier before the draft and pick where you want to go, you're straight. Yeah. I think the draft is what scares people. Mm-hmm. So like say, so say if they say like okay we're gonna do a draft in two weeks, that makes hella niggas just gonna enroll just so they don't get drafted in the because no, if you get drafted you go into the front lines immediately. Because like if I enroll, I'm going, I'm getting a desk job. I'm gonna enroll and then when they draft people, I'm gonna be like I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, like I'm gonna go through basic training just to sit at a desk. I'm gonna be the ones that send them send the missiles. I'll be a nurse. Hell no, you know, you know this nigga Tyrone said he want. Like he wants to be those little um, uh, those nurses on the battlefield. That's what my cousin wanted to do. Who? Celine. Really? Like running on the? Okay, what I'm thinking of nurses on the battlefield. <laughs> they running on it. Like picking people up. Like Tyrone. Like there was a movie. Not Tyrone. There was a movie called um, I forgot. It's another war movie I watched. If you didn't know, I like war movies. <laughs> so it was a movie about a guy who wanted to be a, a war medic. But he was a he was a Christian. Or a yeah, he was a Christian, a Catholic, and he didn't want to hold a gun. And they was like, like he like during basic training, like they they would be like, "Yo, you need to learn how to use a gun, or like we're gonna put you in jail." He was like, "Nah." He was like, "Yeah." He was like, "Nah, I don't want to touch a gun. I don't even want to look at that shit." He was like, "All right, we're gonna throw you in jail because you're uh, being insubordinate." And so he fought. He was like, "Nah, you know, he's like this is just how he is. Like he's not being disrespectful. He just this is just his religion." They were like, "Okay." 
you're allowed to go to war, but you just can't protect yourself. And they, they all used to bully him. They used to beat him up at night because they think he's like pussy and shit like that because he don't want to shoot nobody. And they all think he's going to die. So everybody in his like in his in his whole like um, barrack and whole team, they all hate him. They don't like him. Like he don't got no friends. So when they, when it's time to go to war, it's against the Japanese. They're going oh hacksaw ridge. That's what it's called. Oh. So they they climb. So basically, it's a big ridge and they gotta climb up it. And on the top, that's where the Japanese are, but you can't see them because there's, so there's you just see dead bodies everywhere. And like the reason why they can't see them because the Japanese are going through the tunnels underground. So they pop up and they just ambush them. So they're up there, right? They're all scared as fuck because the last people that came only it was five hundred niggas went up, only twelve came back. So they all going up there, right? They getting shot at, boom, 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 boom. So he's out there just running, helping niggas, and so they all they all they start some of them started retreating because like it's getting nighttime. He stays up there, and like because one of the nigga that he that used to bully him, he he got shot and he tried to help him. And, like, he tried to bring him down, but, like, he died in his hands, and he felt bad. So, he was like, you know what? F that. I'm not leaving. He went up there, and, like, every time he f- he found one guy, like, he was still alive. Everybody thought he was dead. Cause, so, he picked him up. He dragged him. He brought him down. And then every time he went to go get somebody, another person's like, hey, I'm here. I'm over here. He's like, okay, I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. And he kept going back, kept going, and bringing everybody. He saved 60 people, I think. That's crazy. A lot. He saved a lot of people, and he got a purple star for that, purple medal for that. That's crazy. Without using a gun. Mm-mm. And Tyrone said he wants to do that. Wow. Tyrone is 6'8". <laughs> He's very you are noticeable. You a big-ass target. <laughs> I mean, you're not supposed to shoot the medic, but who do you think is going to... You think them niggas going to follow the rules? The fuck? The ta- you think they're going to notice you when they're just, like, shooting people? Exactly. For me, like, if I'm at war, I'm shooting, like, if, if a medic run by, I shoot, like, my bad. Niggas never play Call of Duty. Bro. I'm going to shoot the medic, too. Oh, you're a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think the rule is, like, the rule of war, if, like, the medic is helping somebody, you can't kill that nigga. I mean, how are they going to know? I think they have, like, a, they have, like, like, the little cross. Like, you can't oh, kill yeah, nobody with I'm the cross. yeah, because I'm going to see that shooting people. Exactly. I'm going to be paying attention to that. Like, Tyrone, I'm a, like, nigga, you big as hell. Like, you think the Taliban are going to respect them rules? Mm-mm. They going for your head, my nigga. You, you big ass target. You better get your ass in the back in a tank or some shit. They, they're shit. gonna think he's like a part of them, like not a nurse, because he's so big. And exactly. be like, how how that big <laughs> big ass nigga running around with a bunch of band aids? Oh god, <laughs> big ass nigga running around with a bunch of band aids <laughs> and ice packs. <laughs> Fuck you doing with that shit? <laughs> Yo, nah. Shout out to you, Tyrone, bro. Tyrone about to be on a couple episodes. He got. It's a little sneak peek, though. He got some funny shit. He got some weird shit bring. He got to bring some weird shit. <laughs> oh, my God. But that's... To answer your question, a million dollars, if I get drafted to war for World War Three, no. Respectfully. But if, but if they were going to draft your sister, you will go. Yes, but I'm... I don't... I'm hiding. I'm being a pussy. <laughs> like, I'm... I'm. They're not going to find me. Mm-mm. But... All right. I have another question for you. Would you go to space on a vacation? Like, as a vacation? I would. You're crazy as hell. It's like a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Like, that might be the end of my life. Nah, it had, if it was, like, secure and, like, hella people did it already, then I'm going to do it. I'm not going to be the first one to do it. But if hella people do it, no deaths has gone by. Like, I'm going to wait a year until it's, like, for certain, like, I'm not going to die. I'm going to be that one... That one case where it just blows up. I can't go on. No. If I'm I, that if guy. I, let's say I wanted to go on vacation there. Sorry. You wouldn't go with me? I'm taking you. You know I'm going to take you to? <laughs> you know I'm going to take you to? Where? Tahiti. You ever been to Tahiti? I'll take you to the mall dive for a million dollars before I go up into space. What if I really wanted to go? Like, that was the, the last thing on my bucket list. And I was like, please just go with me. I was crying to I'll take you to space. <laughs> See you playing, I'm for real. I'll take you to the mall dives. The mall dives where all the TikTokers go. I don't want to go to the mall dives. What the f are you gonna do in space? I'm gonna look at the the planets. You're just gonna float. We about to be floating. It's about to be lit. I'm I get motion sickness, you know that. I do too. I'm not gonna have fun up there. 
What if it's like for two days? We that's don't have a, to stay there for a long time. That's so long. No, that's not. That's too long. I'm thinking you're going to say six hours. <laughs> <laughs> Even that's a stretch. All right. What if we're there for a day? Just for the, ex- the experience. No. So you want to do it with me? I would. All right. For you, I would really try to. But I would hate it so much. <laughs> I would hate it so much. I don't think you would. I think you'll get up there and be like, oh, this is kind of cool. I would, if I'm float, I'm going to throw up. You know nah, the- you'll be doing flips and stuff. I think you're just saying that because the thought of it is scary. We could do flips on a plane. You ever seen Jackass? No. Them niggas went, and they was in a plane, and they went so high up that you could do flips. Like, it was like zero gravity. So you basically. I'll do that. Up there. I'm just not going on a rocket ship. And that Why shit blow not? up. It's not going to blow up. You ever seen the first... If it's, all right, let's say it's like two years in, and they know it's safe. Like, nobody has died from it, nothing. I'm going to be that one that blows up. No. You ever seen the first teacher in space? No. Exactly. She blew up on the ship. <laughs> I'm dead serious. <laughs> no. Mm. I can't. I really can't. I'm sorry. Wow. That's messed up. I'll go for you, though. <laughs> I'll face my fear. Like, that shit, like, I wouldn't, like... Let, let me ask y'all Would y'all go To space if y'all can For a vacation Cause I heard that's what they're doing I heard that's what Either Jeff Bezos Or Elon Musk is doing As a As a They're making like a hotel in space mm. I don't know bro I don't trust them but Like the process I heard it takes like Six months to like Maybe Is it six months? Only six months? I don't know No that was in a movie Maybe it's longer <laughs> Maybe a year or two To like Train for like To be an astronaut Or some shit Oh like, you got to do motion sickness. Nah, that, that thing is bugging. That I'm going to fail that shit. Mm-mm, I'm throwing up. Like, oh my. Ugh. I I feel dizzy already just thinking about that shit. I'm not even on that hoe. They had one in that um place we went to, that jumping place, or that obstacle course place. Oh, yeah. I seen them niggas on that shit. They yeah. Cr- Wildin'. If we would have went on that, remember when we went there to, what was it called? I was gonna say rebounders. It wasn't rebounders. Thrills. Thrills. Remember that the little the little um tire thing. Mm-hmm. We I got dizzy done. off that shit. That shit ruined our whole day. We were nauseous as hell. That shit. Yo, y'all. We went to Thrills in Connecticut, and my fellas, if y'all want to take your girls there, that's the best date ever. But anyways, we went up there over there. They had like a little like zip line thing where you sit on like a tube, and like the nigga spun us around. And when I tell you that shit ruined our day, bro. We asked for it though, but it was like I didn't think it was gonna be that bad. That shit was horrible. My stomach hurt that whole time. But to answer your question, at for you, I would go to space. Only I for wouldn't you. make you though. Okay, I'll probably go God. with somebody that like wants to. Don't leave me. Not for you, like not another guy, like a family member or something. Who do you think will go into space in your family? Definitely think- not my dad. Hell no. That nigga don't even like planes. <laughs> Imagine a spaceship. I don't even like planes, but I'll do it just if it was safe, though, like, if it wasn't, I'm not doing it. But, I don't know. I'd rather go to the I'm bottom go with of the Rachel. ocean. I'm gonna go with Rachel. Rachel would be the only one that's down. Nah, she really would be. <laughs> Rachel would actually be the only one. I need to ask her, because I don't think my brother would do it. His In his prime, he would. I know, he got, he got a little he got older. got old. <laughs> He's starting to realize, like, he can't be doing this crazy shit no more. <laughs> but I would go to the bottom of the ocean. So you will go to the bottom of the ocean before you just take a rocket ship. I'm wilding. I would die down there. Yeah. I think that that was too much air pressure. Okay, no, I'll go. No, but people um do, like, would you be in a submarine? submarine? No. You wouldn't go down in a submarine? I wouldn't either, but. When, like, as a trip or as my job? No, as a trip. And stay there for however long. I feel like the air pressure will hurt my head. Like, the pressure of all that shit will hurt my head. So do people, how do people do it in a submarine? Do they have to train for that? I think so. Mm-hmm. You should. I feel like you have training for everything. That's true. But like, have you ever seen the videos where, you ever watch, the, you ever watch, um, the, um, what's it called? You ever watch the Pearl Harbor movie? Probably. I don't remember though. Oh, yo, this is like third <laughs> war movie I've talked about. But during the movie, so like when they bombed Pearl Harbor, like the people got stuck in the boats. When the boat sank, like the people that worked in the engines, like they couldn't get out of the boat. So when it was sinking, the f- shit was just flooding in. So I'm just thinking, like, what that happened in the sink in a in a in, in a, a fucking, submarine. Yeah, that's true. I would rather that's die. That's my worst fear. I would rather die in 
what's that called? Space. Spaced and underwater. Like drowning? Yeah. I think that's bad. That's the worst way to die. Would you rather die in drowning or in a fire? That's hard. Because, like, drowning is like, uh, but then dying in a fire is going to hurt. I think I'm going to drown. Fire. I think fire, when you die in fire, I think it takes a lot longer than drowning. But you necessarily don't have to die in fire. In fire. Like, people get out. Okay. You're, it's, you, all right. So, say you're in a submarine, water's getting, you're about to drown. Or a big ass fire, you can't open the door. So, you, you're going to die in both. I probably do. Ooh, that's so hard. I don't want to burn to death, but then I don't want to drown. But drowning, drowning, I probably take drowning too. Cause I'm not burning. That shit. Bur- First of all, my skin on fire. I don't even know how, like. What do you die from when you get burned to death? You just die just, from the the pain. Yeah, like that's like basically putting you to ashes. Yeah, I'm not. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna take the drowning over the fire. But dang, I don't want to struggle. Like, you know what it is to struggle for your breath. I know. Oh. And be like. I'm, I don't know. That's 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 hard. Still, I don't think I'd rather struggle for my breath than burn. Yeah, that burning hurts. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do drowning too. I, I think that's a safe bet. Oh my gosh! All right, but last subject of the day, I have a list of people. Right, so talking about movies, we watch a lot of scary movies. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna name you a list of killers from horror movies. And we're going to discuss whether we would survive or die if they were hunting us down. Okay. Okay? So the first one is It. The clown. I would survive. I was, I'm was. i not going to... I'll f*** that nigga up. I would too. I'll kill that nigga. I'm mm. not going to lie. The, he only goes after kids? Killing him. Facts. Maybe, like, he's... Like, honestly, I think he's... I think the, the whole point of it is, like... It's not him that's scary. It's, like, he goes into your mind and makes him... Like, you think he's that scary. Oh, yeah. I don't think I've ever watched it. No, it? I just know about him. Nah, it was, it was, that movie, it was, from a level of scariness, it was like a seven. Mm. Like seven. Remember that haunted house we went to and like the, one of the it clowns? Oh, yeah. That was kind of scary. That was scary as hell. Like, cause, I right, so there was, we went to a haunted house, it was me, Jay, Fritz, and um, UJ, and Ivy. So mm-hmm. we all went to the haunted house. And at the end, there was like a room full of clowns, like it clowns. And there was like, we didn't know which one was like the, like the actor. So we was trying to, we was walking slow to try to figure out. And the act, like the one that we thought was the actor wasn't. And the nigga was actually behind mm-hmm. us. He popped up. I was like, oh shit, that was actually scary <laughs> as fuck. That was, that was. But nah, that clown nigga, murking that nigga. Yeah, I'll respectfully, beat him for real. I think I could survive. If he's he, hunting, could, he could definitely get killed, so he only be going after kids for a reason. Yeah, like I think it's just you have to have be strong minded, mm-hmm. cause like I think his your fears, your fear of him makes him stronger. Yeah. So I think I could kill him. All right, the next guy is going back on your mind is Freddy Krueger. I never watched those movies. I think I watched one, but I don't remember it. I don't remember it either, but I I don't think I don't know. I think Freddy Krueger. I think it's deed for me. I've heard it's a lot 50, about 50. him. Because he goes into your... Like, he kills you from the inside out. Like, he can go in your dreams and shit like that and just kill your mind. Like, he can... I think he he can make you go crazy, make you kill yourself, type shit. Oh, uh, right. Then it's deed. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't think I could touch... Freddy Krueger <laughs> might have... He might have... He might got it. Not gonna lie. All right. That's a maybe for me. So, I'm gonna take... So, you're gonna have maybe for Freddy Krueger? Yeah. All right. I'll take... I think he's gonna kill me. All right. Jason... With the hockey mask. He's just a big serial killer. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I never watched Jason before. I never did either, but I just know he was really... Like, he was just a... Just imagine a, a serial killer. That's what he was. He was just a serial like, killer. Like, he's just a regular person? Yeah. Then I could... It's like a 50-50. I think Probably a 40-50 for him killing me. 40-60? Yeah, that. Like, 40% he's gonna kill you? Yeah. 60? No, no, no. 60% he's gonna, gonna kill, kill me. you? Okay. I think that's true too because I think I'll give him because he looks strong as hell. Yeah. So he might grab me. I have to train for this shit. Yeah, I have to have some guns on me. Like if I, all right, the only weapon you have is a is a knife. A but you get a butcher knife because a then gun is it's cheese. D, then it's deed for you. Yeah. You don't think you could kill him with a knife? No, because he's way stronger than me. I mean, you just gotta catch him lack. If all right, like I have to literally sneak him, and he's probably gonna be mad aware. I think I think I could get him, 
I have a I have a sixty percent chance of dying though, but there's a forty percent chance I could probably. Yeah, win. I still stand by the my percentage though. I think he's probably gonna kill me. Like if I if I can if I can like outsmart him, I think I could get him. I think I could get him. If All I right. sneak him, that's the only way I'm getting him. Okay. All right. The next one is Jigsaw. Oh, he's killing me. I'm dead as fuck. He's killing me. He's too smart. I he's a dickhead too. <laughs> he's killing me. Like, the nigga. Ugh. Fuck that nigga, yo. I'm not gonna lie, he would dead murk the hell out of me. Mm-hmm. Like I, like I, like he would, he would trap me when I didn't, even, not even think I'm trapped. Exactly. That's what's scary. Mm-hmm. So like I don't even know, like I'm in, I'm in my house, like I think I'm safe, but I'm really, I'm in the trap. Exactly. I'm like fuck. Hell no. So I He's, think I'm fucked. I'm deed, one hundred percent. I always thought Jigsaw was that just that little puppet. So I'm like, I want to kill that nigga. I know. But nah. All right, uh, Chucky. I'm killing him. I'm punting that nigga. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will literally like palm his big ass head. Like the only way he killing me is unless he moved mad fast and he catch me like lacking. He be like, like he start stabbing me in my leg and just start climbing my body. Like, yeah, if he catch you lacking from the back, you're deed. Pause. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Catch me lacking from the. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Yo, your mind is. Terrible. That was a that was vicious statements. Mm-mm. That was vicious statements. I'm not gonna lie, that was crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Your mind is so terrible. But Chucky. Alright, if I have a butcher's knife, I'm definitely killing him. Like I'm I just need my hands. Oh, you got straight hands with him? What if he has a knife on him? Hand, hands and my feet. I'm kick I'm gonna just keep kicking him. I'm gonna grab him like this. He's not gonna reach me. Is Ch- I think is Chucky a doll? I think it's like a little doll. I used to be I used to be really afraid of Chucky when I was a kid. Mm-mm. I was more afraid of freaking um the Jigsaw? the no 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 the Chuck E. Cheese freaking rat. Oh yeah, me too. Then Chucky. Nah, nah, actually, eh, it's fifty fifty, same thing. But Chucky, we we killing that nigga. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I think. All right, Predator. Do you know what Predator is? No. All right, so the Predator is is a so in the movie Predator versus Aliens. Aliens come down to Earth and they're just killing people and shit. But the the whole point is like the predator brings them down, and there's there are a bunch of them and they're hunting down the aliens for sport. So their point is not like they didn't bring the aliens to kill the humans. They just bring them down just to hunt them down as a sport. What the hell. But the humans get in the way because like them niggas is like start killing them, and like the niggas like yo I'm just like I'm gonna kill them for you. Don't worry. But like they don't know about that shit. But he's like a trained assassin, like hunter from space. So he only kills aliens, like. I mean, he kills the niggas too because they're in the way. So he might as well just fucking kill them niggas. I think I could beat him. No, I'm dead as fuck. <laughs> I'm dead as fuck. I'm gonna beat him. Well, from what I hear, I haven't seen the. He's a he's a it's a big it. dude. It's a big ass alien. With a he's an alien. He's an alien, big ass dude, maybe seven feet tall, strong, has weapons. If I have a gun. Is I'll he... give you a gun with him, but like he, I don't know if bullets kill that nigga. Oh. Maybe multiple bullets, cause he has lasers and he has like nanotech that he can see through walls and shit. He could sense shit. Oh, okay, then it's deed. Like then. he's an actual hunter, hunter. If he could see through walls, it's deed for me. Exactly. Like, like maybe if we're together, we might be have a stand a chance. I'm gonna have to sacrifice myself for you. Sure. <laughs> Does he only have two eyes? Yeah, he has two eyes. Okay, then it's deed for him. If well, it's I... us two. Wait, what two eyes have to do with it? Because, like, if he has, like, seven eyes, then he could see every everything. He if got he only senses. has He could smell us. i never seen the movie. So. I know. We got to see the movie. He's killing me. I think you, you might be straight because you don't know the movies. I'll give you 50-50. All right. All right. And I think the last person on this list is Michael Myers. Indeed. Okay. I think. What do you think? I think I could get that nigga. Ain't nobody has ever got him. These niggas is pussy. <laughs> How? Okay. Michael Myers, they say Michael Myers never dies, right? Mm-hmm. Because somebody just stab him in the chest. I'm a, I'm just he was g- in a literal whole fire, and he got out of it. He's not human, then. He- He's a walking zombie. I'm just going to stab... Did somebody stab... I'm going to just stab him in the heart if I got the chance. Isn't the other movie coming out soon? Yeah, Halloween. We definitely watch First that. of all, he's mad slow. He is, but he's going to know where you are. All right, I'm going to keep running for my life. And he's going to follow you. You're just like... going to keep running. You're not going to stop for nothing. <sighs> Did they try shooting him? And he still didn't die? I don't know. 
I, I feel, remember. I think I, I think they did, and he just still didn't die. I don't mm-hmm. know. I think I give myself a sixty percent chance of dying, forty percent chance of winning. Give myself eighty twenty. Give me a chainsaw. It's over. Cutting that nigga <laughs> legs off. Are you not even gonna be able to get that close to him? I'm gonna find a way. I'm gonna booby trap that nigga. Mm-mm. I'm gonna be jigsaw to that nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna torture that motherfucker. Mine is eighty twenty. So you got twenty percent you could live. Yeah. The twenty percent is just if I just keep running and I don't stop at all. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, I think forty sixty. I think I got a forty percent chance of killing him. Nah, you're dead. When people try to kill him in dumbass ways. Nah, that's true though. But... Like, can you just try to like shotguns, throw a grenade at him or something? Get some help from the government, maybe. <laughs> like, if this nigga's still alive, might as well just try. That's true. Like, what the fuck is good with y'all niggas? Mm-mm. Like, goddamn, bro. But I think I think this is a good time to end it. Yes, I think sir. we got 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 a little information in mm-hmm. telling the people about us. Hopefully, the government don't call my phone for the shit I'm talking about. No, for real, they are. They gonna see your YouTube video and be like, "Darius Watkins report to the government." Yeah. All right. <laughs> Well, actually, oh, I want to talk about this one more thing. One last thing. <coughs> what? I believe in Bigfoot. We're going to talk about that in another episode. Somebody's going to... I'm going to have to talk with somebody about Bigfoot. I don't give a <laughs> Bigfoot is fucking real. Nah. You don't believe... I'm going to talk maybe about he it right was, now. Maybe he was real, but I think he don't exist anymore. I believe in Bigfoot. Respectfully, I believe in Bigfoot. That's the, only, that's the one I, thing I believe in. I see a video. There's many videos. Fake. They always say it's fake. <laughs> you know, we're going to talk about that. I want to talk. Should we talk about it right now? I want to so bad. Go ahead. There's <sighs> nothing to talk about. He's fake. That's it. There's a lot of people that say he's fake. But I just feel as though, like, in that, in the vast woods of United States or wherever, there's got to be something that we've never seen before. There definitely is. But I feel like if it was, how tall is Bigfoot, supposedly? It, there's it's ranges like there's different kinds. So there's several Bigfoots. Several, it's not several. Like there's all right. So I watch like when I was a kid, I used to watch this show called Mountain Monsters, and they used to like track down like different like Bigfoots. Like I used to watch like this Bigfoot show. So there's like like each place has their own Bigfoot. Like in the Bayou, there's a Bigfoot that's like mad furry and it smells like shit. So why like why is there no pictures of them like? Real footage of and pictures. We have phones now. I mean, cause like not really a lot of. Okay, so say. Imagine somebody did have a picture of it, mm-hmm. like, and it was a real picture. Do you think people are gonna believe that shit? I mean, all the pictures out now look hella old. Like, and it's not even pictures. It's like videos. Yeah. So like, and what it looks if, so fake. It looks so fake, but like we never seen it. So why? How could we say it's fake? It, I don't know. That's what I'm you, saying. I mean, you never know. It could be real, it could be fake, but I just think it's like the videos just look fake. If like, I see, we have, we're in 2021. We have hella technology, hella clear technology that people could take pictures in. And there has not been clear footage of any Bigfoots. Because we could also alter it. So people are just going to think it's fake regardless. Why would they alter it? Why wouldn't you just post a real picture of Bigfoot? I mean, what if people did, and then you just they just say it's fake automatically, like bias. Like, if the majority of people say it's fake, it's gonna be but called fake. But they didn't, so we can't say what if they did. Nobody has ever posted a real picture that I've seen of Bigfoot. I mean, they probably like what if they did? What if it is a real picture, but you just think it's fake? No, I'm talking about like a high quality picture. Like, doesn't look like they, they took it with like an 1800s phone. What do you think? They got motherfucking HD cameras. We're in 2021. We got iPhones. I know, but like, I don't know. Like maybe, like maybe I don't, I haven't looked at like looked into Bigfoot in Mad Long, so I don't know if there is any footage lately. I doubt it. But I haven't either. But the when I did look at it, it's just hella old video footage. I just feel like there's a lot of creatures that we've never discovered and are still just hiding around. I think that too, though. Especially I believe Bigfoot in the is woods, one of them. under the sea, everywhere. I believe Bigfoot is one of them. I don't. I just think in the mountains, in the Rocky Mountains of the United States, there's something living in there. Definitely, but I It might be they this might be just another government conspiracy that they they throw out the conspiracy of Bigfoot so we don't focus on the real shit. That's true. So maybe it is. But I just think I feel as though 
that something that big should have been found already. Mm-hmm. It should have been found. But like, say there's say there's only a hundred Bigfoots in the world. You're not gonna find that shit. Why not? A hundred out of seven billion. Like imagine like a, a hundred in the whole world. The whole shit of the world. I don't think you're gonna like unless you dead go looking for the whole your rest of your life. I guess. I feel like there's a lot of people that seen them and like they don't really say it because like they don't think anybody's gonna believe them, but they just know in their heart like I mean, I'll say it regardless. Yeah, I mean I just see like yeah, I seen Bigfoot nigga, yeah, I ain't seen Bigfoot, y'all mad as fuck out of here, nigga. But I feel as though there's a lot of people that fake Bigfoot. Like yeah, they like go in the cry woods. Wolf. Yeah, no, not not cry wolf. Like they actually go in the woods and pretend that they're Bigfoot. Oh, 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 oh. Like there was a there was a guy I seen a seen a post. It was a guy walking around with like big penguin feet on the beach for five six years, and people thought there was an actual giant penguin walking around, but it was actually him. Mm-hmm. So I feel like people do that. So like you can never know if Bigfoot's really real. Exactly. But I don't know. He could be real. Maybe. I. Believe. I don't believe. I truly <laughs> believe he's real. I hope you see him one day. I hope so too. I hope one day we go hiking. I just hear, like I I, I know a lot about Bigfoot. Mm-mm. Like like his scream sounds like a Bigfoot yell sounds like Tarzan. Like you know oh, like that's how that's how Bigfoot sounds. But if you hear that scream and it was a person, like I could see the person doing it. No. I mean I'm never gonna know if it's a person. I'm just gonna say it's Bigfoot. Fuck it. I love Bigfoot. I don't know. I Like, they've been calling me crazy since I was a little kid because I always used to love Bigfoot. You're crazy. Hey, man. <laughs> no regulars. Not a regular nigga, you know what I'm saying? That's Gangsta. true, that's true. Ah. Gangsta. <laughs> now, but there's another thing I heard about in, um, in Russia. So there was a case in Russia about... I don't think it this doesn't go with Bigfoot. Loki goes with like aliens and shit. It was a it was like a hiking trip and like a bunch of college kids went and they found them like their bodies were like mangled and shit. Like mangled. Hold on, let me see if I can find the post real quick. 2000 years later. Okay, here I found it. Birthday. Oh shit. We got to celebrate. All right, it says, in the Dialatov Pass incident, nine college students mysteriously died in Russian tundra. Two were missing their eyes, another had his tongue torn out, and four others had high doses of radiation out on their clothes. All of them were mostly naked. The Soviet Union called it an unknown and compelling natural source and promptly closed the case. What the hell? So what do you think fucking I mean, happened? that could have been like hella killers, but I don't know about that radiation part. Like, the nigga's eyes came out. Two niggas had no eyes. One nigga had no tongue. Four niggas had radiation on them. That's crazy. I don't even know. Most of the niggas was butt ass naked. So and the, the government f- definitely knows what happened. They just don't want to tell us. They don't want to tell us because we're gonna get scared. Not me. I'm be like, what the fuck? Tough. No, people are gonna get scared. They like people just go into panic when they hear something. They start buying hellish stuff just to be in their house just in case. Fucking retarded, bro. Like an relax. Invasion. Exactly. Like damn. Like y'all niggas. Like like, like like these niggas just be. Like relax, you little anxious motherfucker. They hear a freaking hurricane in there, buying every toilet yes. paper. Like goddamn. That time when we were in Florida and the gas was running out or something. The gas saw, line stopped. Uh huh. You saw hella people with chugs like gallons. Cause they dumb as fuck. Like relax, my nigga. Y'all just being hella stingy. I think it's the end of the world. Mm-hmm. Y'all waiting for the end of the world. Like goddamn, exactly. bro. Shit, y'all niggas think y'all unprepared for the end of the world and shit. But nah. But what do you think happened? Honestly, I don't know about that radiation part. That's weird. But, like, if it wasn't for the radiation part, I probably would have thought it was just, like, serial killers. It's in the like tundra, a, though. A, what the hell is the tundra? Like, massive snow. Like, they went, it's like a... A cult. You think there's a cult living in the snow? Mm-hmm. <laughs> they took their <coughs> eyes out with some knives or just bare hand. You know what I think it is? What? Alien Bigfoot. Oh, my God. Chill, Cut. chill, 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 <laughs> chill. Chill, nah. I don't know. I just think that's kind of kind of a little weird. That is. They just they was just like they just forgot about it. If I was those kids like um parents and shit, I'd be like, "Nah, what the fuck happened to my son, bro?" Mm. 
They did, definitely didn't even tell the parents either, like, anything they knew. Mm-hmm. They definitely just said they were just killed. Mm-hmm. They definitely didn't tell them, like, they seen radiation. Because that's weird. Like, I, I bet you a lot of shit like that happened. Like, when people got went missing or died or killed some, like, weird way, I bet you, like, some of them reasons mm-hmm. was because of that. Like, I feel like if, a, if an alien killed somebody, like, they wouldn't say alien killed. They'd just be like, he died off of unnatural causes or yeah. somewhere like that. For sure. Like, they're, not, they're never going to admit there's aliens or anything. Eventually they will. I mean, they 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 admitted their aliens are real. They just never admitted that they live amongst us, which I believe some of them do. I do too. I could be an alien. Oh hell no! Chill, I ain't no alien. I'll <laughs> tell you. You know I'll tell you. But I think this is a good time to end it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, thank y'all for watching the episode. My special birthday episode, you know what yes, I'm saying? Yes, sir. 30 minutes to his birthday. 30 minutes to my B-Day, you know what I'm saying? Big 22 in the building. We're the same age right now, so. Yeah, for the next <laughs> couple of hours, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I get to get to see my birthday present. 2K, here we go. No, don't get gassed. <sighs> <laughs> nah, but then again, I just want to thank y'all for tuning in again to No Regulars Podcast, episode 5. And hit us up with in the comments. Let us know any topics you want to tell us. Anything, anything weird you want to talk to us about, anything weird that you know that you want us to discuss, anything you want. I just want to interact with you guys. You know, hit us up in the DMs on Instagram at noregulars.podcast. Look at our podcast at, not our, look at our podcast, look at our TikTok at no regulars. Yes, sir. And we finally got audio out on Anchor, but Anchor's home me, so, because I'm trying to distribute it to Apple and Spotify, but that's just not working right now, so I'm going to try to eventually get there. So, Apple, Podcast, Spotify, coming soon but right now we're on anchor so tune into that if you like just listen to it you don't want to see our faces and shit like that <laughs> but yeah you know what i'm saying thank y'all from the bottom of my heart but we only going up from here you know what i'm saying yes sir big 22 by the end of this year i want to see where we're at we're gonna come back to these videos i know we're gonna come back to these videos my like hopefully by the end of our this year we're gonna be at episode 57 you counted it? 54. No, I'm just saying like a year from now, it's 52 weeks, so oh, 57. Oh. Episode 57. That's the goal. Mm-hmm. And we're going to keep going up from there, but it's only up from here, you know what I'm saying? We different. They regular, no records, man. Gangsta. Gangsta.